Can you hear me at the back? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So uh, today I'm going to present an interesting clinical vignette, uh, which includes a case of uh, rash, a case of radical rash. So let's get started. A previously healthy 36-year-old Hispanic male presented with progressive severe uh, sore throat, swelling and redness of his hands and feet, and fevers of 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, he said that he could only drink fluids because he has a lot of difficulty swallowing, and he was treated with azithromycin without any improvement by his primary care physician. So he came to St. Joseph Hospital, and when we saw him uh, on examination, he had multiple ulcerative lesions on his uh, palate, and the skin exam showed particular and papillic rash on hands, feet, and inner thigh areas. Uh, here you can see the pictures of the palate ulceration, and here are some of the pictures. I don't know if it works well or not, but the picture of the rash. So we called an urgent meeting of all the organisms, Nigeria, uh, HSV, CMV, EBV. We said, who, who is the culprit? Who caused this problem? And just to confuse us, they said, we are here, we are here. Uh, we don't know where are they. Uh, and in meanwhile, uh, a bug came out uh, and he said, I caused this, you can't recognize me? Uh, we said, no, we don't. Uh, can you give us some clues? He said, okay, I'll give you some clues. He said, some of, the, some of my family members inside these folks. And by these folks means dogs, bulls, and jackets. We said, okay, go ahead. Can you hear that? <laughs> That's a tight slap. It's, it said I can slap on cheek causing fever and rash. Along with that, I can cause uh, hydrospitalis. In fact, I'm one of the most commonest causes of hydrospitalis in US. I can cause transient plastic crisis. So we thought, you know what? Uh, now we are getting some idea about it. Uh, you are a virus. It said, yeah, I'm a virus. Let me give you some more clues. I'm one of the smallest viruses. And let me give you some, some of my photogenics. This is my crystallographic picture. And this is my electron microscope picture. And then we said, in, mm, we know now who you are. You are the parovirus B19. And it said, yes, I am parovirus B19. <laughs> Smallest DNA virus, 26 nanometer in diameter, non annular, which causes transient aplastic crisis, uh, hydrospitalis, and slavic fever, which is also known as edema infectiosum. So we said, okay, long story short, how did you cause the symptoms in this patient? He said, okay, I went to upper respiratory tract, I screwed around. I replicated myself, went into blood, and caused, caused rash and arthralgia. I, went, I can also go to bone marrow, though I spat this patient, but I can also go to bone marrow and, causes, uh, and can cause drop in hemoglobin, platelets, as well as leukocytes. We said, okay. He said, I can also cause two cutaneous syndromes. One is Giannotic Roster syndrome. We said, no, 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 it's too boring. You know, we don't want to hear about it. Tell us something about this one. He said, okay. This is glove and sock syndrome. It's an acute cell limited disease mainly affecting children and young adults. Uh, it was identified in 1990 by HAMS and five Swiss patients. The etiology was unknown at that point. Uh, it's called gloves and socks syndrome because the edema and uh, the edema and edema appears in the distribution of gloves and socks uh, and is accompanied by painful, pruritic, uh, pitical rash most of the times. Oral cavity, genitals, and groins may also be involved and is usually preceded by flu-like symptoms like fever, chills. Uh, myalgia, headaches, lymphadenopathy, pharyngitis. This is the slide that shows uh, that uh, it, it causes fever, chills, headache, myalgia, followed by rash and arthralgia. Can cause drop in hemoglobin as well as thrombus, uh, platelets, and leukocytes. The sensitive tools uh, to diagnose this infection is IgM and IgG antibodies uh, related to virus. IgM, high titers indicate recent infection. IgG, high titers indicate uh, previous infection. And the specific test would be to uh, check PCR, check DNA by PCR technique in the blood. Uh, we also should rule out HSV, CMV, EBV, manuloxemia, Rocky Mountain spotted fever when we uh, try to sort out this problem. How do we attack the virus? It typically lasts between one and two weeks and resolves the spin disformation. Treatment is completely symptomatic. You give antipyretics, uh, antihistamines, and fluid management. They are the mainstays of treatment. And no, no long term complications uh, uh, has been reported to occur in these cases, and it has, the disease itself has not been reported to recur in any case. And on this note, I, I hope that you would all agree with my presentation. Thank you.